Every year, Art Force Iowa hosts our annual No Justice exhibit in May. This year's theme is Credo, which is Latin for creed, which means I believe. But a creed is much bigger than just what you believe. It's about taking what you believe in value and then encompassing that in your everyday actions. As we get closer to this year's No Justice exhibit, we'll be sharing our creeds with you all. My name is Claudia Kilangalila, and I am the Heroes Program Director here at Art Force Iowa. My creed is I believe in justice and will advocate for the voiceless and hold space for the overlooked. And to me, this is really just about breaking down the inequalities and barriers in our community. When it comes to how I settled on this creed, I really noticed that a lot of things that people were facing in the communities that I wanted to serve came with different things that were barriers in the system. And so justice is a big part of how I feel I can help break down some of those barriers and that's how I came to form that creed. When it comes to my number one value, which is justice and thinking about how that matches with my creed, I think it's really important for justice to not just be punitive where we are punishing people, but for it to be something where we're also helping restore our community. And so in thinking about restoring our communities, I really am focused on finding ways in which I can help alleviate and break down those barriers that exist that can help everybody get true justice. When it comes to life experiences that have informed my creed, I think a lot of the experiences that I faced being a black woman and sometimes feeling closed out of circles has really made me want to not have anybody else experience that. When you have input and you want to contribute to what is going on in your community and you want your voice to also be heard, it can be really damaging to you when you are put in a situation where you feel blocked out. So I think a lot of the experiences that have sourced from that kind of experience for me in life have made me want to pursue justice for others. When it comes to my day to day and how I live in my creed, I think the easiest way for me to do that is just by breaking down small barriers that I find. Whether it's when we're involved with young people in classrooms and we realize, you know, maybe this student doesn't have a strong of an English proficiency as others, making sure there's an interpreter in that room is something that I can help with and I can help alleviate that barrier for them so that in whatever workshop we're providing, they're able to participate. So I think it's important to find the small ways as well as think of bigger ways, but really the day-to-day, -day, it comes to the small ways in which I can help alleviate barriers. I could describe my career an art form, I would choose slam poetry. Slam poetry is exciting, it is collaborative, it is innovative, it allows people to express themselves, and I am really all about breaking down as many barriers as possible in creating space. And I think slam poetry really encompasses all those things. My creed shows up in my artwork in different ways. I practice poetry, so I practice art in the written form. And when it comes to thinking about how I look at breaking down barriers and building community, a lot of my poetry talks about that. I explore a lot of different themes in my written poetry. And when it comes to community and injustice and barriers and working together and figuring out how we can break down those barriers and build communities, those are themes that are constantly showing up in my work. So it very much aligns with my creed. When it comes to my creed and how I think it can make a difference for others, I think the biggest part of it is that we need to all remember that we are connected. I think it's important to remember that even though it's vital for us to celebrate our differences and our individuality, if our communities aren't strong, we wouldn't be able to be strong as individuals. So that is something that I think my creed really focuses on. This is my zine. My number one value is justice, and so this is a zine that I've made to show different ways in which I honor my number one value. On the cover page of my zine, it says how to honor, and then I have put in justice, which is my number one value in big old letters. I also have a gavel down there, and it's got a heart in it, because I think that there should be a little bit more heart in our justice system. So on the first page of my zine, I've drawn scales of the strike through them, and I've written disrupt the system next to that. I believe that our legal system could use some revamping, and we can all be a part of that. On the next page of my zine, I've got a protest sign that says voice for the voiceless because I believe it's really important that if we have individuals in our lives and our communities that are not able to advocate for themselves and we have the capacity to do that, we should do that for them. And then I also have a ladder on the opposite page with the phrase lifting as we climb, which is typically shared in a lot of African American proverbs. But it talks about how as you are ascending, whether it's in career, whether it's in getting healthier, whatever that may be, you're also helping others in your community do the same. And and finally, the last page of my zine talks about fighting for healthy communities. 
It not only gives the example of reforming some of our departments that we have, but also something that we are doing in the schools here at Art Force Iowa is providing in-school workshops. And holding that space for young people to be able to express themselves is something that I believe is a big part of helping build a healthy community. Thank you for watching and learning about one of our creeds. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned to more videos like this as we get closer to our No Justice Credo exhibit in May. See you next time.